Is it a camper van? Yeah. In, in conversion. <laughs> in conversion. Yeah. Not converted fully yet. No. After driving from the UK all the way over to Austria, getting the ferry from Dover to Calais. Right, we've made it to France. Driving through Belgium, Luxembourg, and then stopping off for a night in Germany, we finally made it to my mum's local Austrian village after a 16 hour drive. We then spent the next few days in Austria testing out the van in some wintry conditions. We are well and truly going into a winter wonderland. I then became a ski instructor for a few days as I taught Wallace to ski for the very first time. Oh no! Wallace! Wallace! Oh shit! Today, we're leaving the comfort of a warm double bed and moving into the van to start the adventure of an Austrian winter road trip. Holy guac, a freaking moly. This is without doubt the most scenic park up I have ever had so far. The reason the van didn't start the first time, it's a diesel. So you have to wait for the glow plugs, I believe, to warm up on cold days. Never had that problem before. So something to remember, now we're in minus temperatures. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get a cloth and wipe this down. It's all over here. This is the only problem I would say so far with winter van life. Not that I've even been doing winter van life the last few days, but am I taking things too far? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna be asleep tonight. I'm not gonna be half sweeping the van. <laughs> I just don't want any snow in the van. Look at that, it leaves watermarks everywhere. I can't be having a dirty van before I start a road trip. My OCD is already kicking in. We've got to have it clean before we go. A clean house is a tidy house. We're not cleaning it again, that's it done. <laughs> Why would you go in there with your shoes on? Why not? <laughs> we'll get so after staying at my mum's place for the last few days it was time to hit the road and let the real Austrian road trip begin. There was literally no plan at all for this road trip, all we'd done was dot some places on a map and aimlessly drive towards them and see where the road would take us. The first stop on this very rough itinerary was to go and visit a huge frozen lake which sits in between the Austrian mountains. The first stop on this Austrian trip is a place close to where my mum lives, about a 15 minute drive away, up the mountain to a big lake called Privacy. And I thought it'd be a nice, easy way to get the trip going. Go for a walk around the lake. Everything covered in snow at the minute. Lots of people langlaufing, I think it's called. Or basically cross country skiing. But it's absolutely stunning around here. Look how deep the snow is. Oh my God. Oh, that is the lake all there. It is frozen, but I have no idea how many inches. Might test it further down. Hi? Is that the lake? That's the lake, yeah. Oh. It's all frozen. I didn't think that. Yeah, of course it's the lake. Should we try and stand on it? A few moments later. I'm just going to test the lake. me. <laughs> 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 Okay, testing is <laughs> over. Yeah, that literally went up to my knees. <laughs> oh my god. I definitely didn't think it was going to be that deep straight away. <laughs> I thought I'd have a few meters until I actually got onto the lake. If you can translate that, I'm assuming it says don't walk on the ice or something like that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what the hell that says. Look at this. This is absolutely stunning. Wow. This is why I love this place. In summer or in winter when it's like this, it's beautiful. Mountains everywhere!
What do you think of privacy? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Sun it is, is lovely. Unreal. Yeah, as soon as you get a bit of that sun on you, it oh. is radiant. We've got a runny nose now. Just gutted we've got our sunglasses. Yeah, gonna definitely have to invest in a pair of sunglasses. Good thing about Austria is everything is signposted. Even though it's in German, it's kind of easy to understand where to go, so you can't really get lost. Whatever that means. We're doing the winter wonder wag. Yeah, the winter wonder wag. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you this, German? <laughs> what? This way? Winter wonder wag. After taking a beautiful slow morning stroll around the frozen lake, we built up an appetite for lunch and headed over to this beautifully traditional Austrian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, when you sit down for an hour, it gets bloody freezing. I think we've eaten enough food for a family of 10. Austrian food. Not sure it's the healthiest diet you'll ever have. Lots of cheese, lots of meat, lots of pancakey desserts and custard and all sorts. So turn my socks off. <laughs> well, it's got a heated socks on. Oh. How are they? Have they done a good job? Yeah, my feet are on fire. Well, that's good, because my feet are absolutely <laughs> freezing. We're now going to drive. Well, actually, we don't know where we're going to drive because <laughs> we haven't got a plan. We've got a very, very, very rough plan of things dotted and marked on a map. We're going to go to a town, which I don't even know what it's called. I need to look on my phone, but I've got no phone signal whatsoever. Um, probably find a park up for tonight and chill out, I reckon. But once we're there, I'll let you know what's going on and let you know what the next couple of days is going to look like. We're going to watch Peaky Bees. Yeah, Peaky Blinders is on tonight, so we so want to watch, watch that. that. <laughs> so we need to make sure we've got good phone signal so we can get the Wi-Fi working. We've completely come off the main road and just taken this quiet mountain road through the trees and the forest past a few local rural houses and it is absolutely stunning. Wild deer, oh beautiful! said this is the most scenic drive she's ever done and the most dangerous uh, not the most dangerous oh maybe i just made that bit up there. <laughs> the most scenic the most scenic yeah 100%. it is it is if this is the most dangerous drive we've had yet on oh yeah journey. that was it the most dangerous drive yet on this austrian road trip even though it only just started today i'll tell you what you wouldn't want to come across another big vehicle on this road my worst nightmare would be coming yeah, because 
they are quite narrow roads but thankfully we've not actually seen anyone probably for the last 10 minutes that we've been on this road let's keep it that way because my reversing skills in Mary aren't the best yet <laughs> that mirror just confuses me can you imagine just living there Look at this valley. Oh my God, it's stunning. Up there, no one's gonna bother you. Bit of peace, bit of quiet. Just a ball lake if you wanna to go to the local Tesco. Oh dear, I think, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, well, we have definitely come <laughs> to a dead end. What the hell? We can't go any further, that's for sure, because that road is just absolutely covered in snow. We're gonna have to turn around and go all the way back down. Turn around, we'll have to find another way to this place. That's probably why we didn't see any cars going up here. It's literally just like a couple of houses and a farm almost. Definitely can't go up there. Oh, it's slippery. <laughs> oh God. If any Austrians are looking at me now, they're probably thinking, what the hell is going on? Back down, we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're on the way back down to try and find another route, but the sun being on that side of the valley and us coming down the other way, oh, it is absolutely gorgeous. We've just pulled in to a very cute, quaint and traditional little Austrian ski town called Phil's Moose, which was actually recommended to me by Emma and Alex from Travel Beans. So a big thank you to them because they are the ones that told me about this park up they're actually going to tonight. Well, welcome to home for the night. Somewhere in the Austrian mountains, just outside of a town called Fils Moose. I cannot take uh, credit for this park up. I've got to say a big thanks to Alex and Emma from Travel Beans because they are the ones that actually suggested this place. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my God, we're actually snowed in. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting this. <sighs> the snow comes up to the van. They've done an Austria road trip a good couple of weeks ago now, and they messaged me, or actually I messaged them. We've never met, we're online friends for the time being, and they recommended this spot. So this is where we're gonna be staying for tonight. Can tell in the morning, there's gonna be some insane views over there. Currently outside, the temperature is minus four. And if we scroll along, minus eight, minus 10, minus 12, minus 13, it's gonna be getting get down to. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? Watch the Chelsea Liverpool game in the van, nice and cozy. Wallace is doing whatever Wallace does. <laughs> Heater is on and we'll cook some dinner after this. And a beautiful view out there, hopefully tomorrow morning. Minus eight degrees outside. 
All I'm saying is, hallelujah for that auto term heater. Link in the description if you want to pick one up and get a discount yourself. Oh my God, I've never stayed in temperatures like this, ever. This road is completely, completely dead. Haven't literally heard any road noise whatsoever. All we've got is a bit of snow and hopefully some epic, epic views in the morning. I don't know why I came out here, just to show you how cold it really is. <sighs> Says it's gonna be getting down to minus 13, minus 14 inside the van. It's a nice toasty 16 degrees, which is like the perfect temperature to sleep at because it means when you get in your duvet, you're not too hot and you're not too cold. So, oh my God, it's fucking freezing. I'm gonna uh, get in the van and head off to bed and I'll show you in the morning exactly where we've parked up in the daylight and hopefully, as I said, we should have some awesome mountain views. Holy guac, a freaking moly. This is without doubt the most scenic park up I have ever had so far. Oh my God, this is freaking insane. <laughs> Fuck me. There is mountains everywhere. Huge mountain over there. Huge mountains over there. It is dead, peaceful, quiet, no noises. Absolutely surrounded in snow. Oh my God, Alex and Emma, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much for recommending this spot. This is without doubt, as I said, the most beautiful park up that I've ever stayed at. If you're not subscribed to their channel, make sure you go and subscribe because they make videos a hundred times better than I can. But wow, what a bloody park up. Feeling very lucky right now to have a vehicle like this, which I can stay in, I can cook in, I can stay warm in because we had the heater running the entire night slept like an absolute beauty no ticking sound inside which means you can just get a good night's sleep i love it plan this morning cook some breakfast and then uh, check out a few more places for the day so last night it dropped down to minus 13 degrees or minus 14 which is absolutely bonkers but in here we stay toasty toasty warm how did you sleep Blimmin' lovely. Blimmin' lovely. What's on the menu this morning then, chef? Toast, eggs. The only thing that's frozen in the van is the oil. I want them fried, do we? No, so I'm wondering what the hell you're doing. <laughs> what break, is, it, break the eggs. What are you doing, Wallace? Take it off the heat a second. We were going to have fried eggs with smoked salmon, but... Don't like fried eggs. Yeah, Wallace doesn't like fried eggs and doesn't really go with smoked salmon. No butter, <laughs> no milk. That is, right. that is not how you make scrambled eggs. Bit of a travel tip for you. When we got the DFDS ferry, you obviously get a load of condiments. And because I haven't got any in the van, call it stealing, but you know, I like to call it a bit of, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, ingenuity. I haven't got a toaster either, so we're having to make do with frying the bread in a pan. And look how small <laughs> these bread slices are in Austria. Why does that do that? <laughs> 
no. I don't know whether we bought like a child's loaf. Just want some ketchup. We've got ketchup, haven't we? Nope. Doesn't get more glamorous than that, does it? Smoked salmon, scrambled eggs. Cooked inside a van. Living like kings in here. Wallace was gonna sit there, but I actually brought some telescopic benches. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It's because our hands are just covered in smoked salmon. Oh, is that it? Nothing to do with the muscles. <laughs> no, it's not the muscles. No. <laughs> pa 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 pass me the other one. Oh, my flipping fingers. These look good on Amazon, they are good, but slight user error. There we go. That's I sit on that and that collapses. Yeah. I'm gonna be you won't collapse. Well, I have a face full of smoked salmon. <laughs> there we go. Plop yourself down there, love. Yeah, I said not very. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, you just don't have elbows. I think I need a new design, don't I? <laughs> Some redesigning is gonna have to be done when I get home. Oh, what a beautiful way to start the morning. Absolutely delicious, scrambled egg, smoked salmon, stomach is full and ready for another action-packed day of road tripping around Austria in winter. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed joining us on another van camp. This one, definitely a little bit more scenic and a little bit more cold. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe and drop a comment down below of where on earth you would like to see us go next. We're gonna spend the next couple of days just exploring the rest of this area. Make sure to subscribe for more future weird, wacky and wonderful van adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will catch you in the next video.